The Dassault Mirage IV was a French jet-propelled supersonic strategic bomber and deep reconnaissance aircraft. Developed by Dassault Aviation, the aircraft entered service with the French Air Force in October 1964. For many years it was a vital part of the nuclear triad of the Force de Frappe, France's nuclear deterrent striking force. The Mirage IV was retired from the nuclear strike role in 1996, and the type was entirely retired from operational service in 2005. During the 1960s, there were plans of export sales for the Mirage IV. In one proposal, Dassault would have entered a partnership with the British Aircraft Corporation to jointly produce a Mirage IV variant for the Royal Air Force and potentially for other export customers, but this project did not come to fruition. The Mirage IV was ultimately not adopted by any other operators beyond the French Air Force. Development equals Origins equals, During the 1950s, France embarked on an extensive military program to produce nuclear weapons. However, it was acknowledged that existing French aircraft were unsuitable for the task of delivering the weapons themselves. Thus, the development of a supersonic bomber designed to carry out the delivery mission started in 1956 as a part of the wider development of France's independent nuclear deterrent. In May 1956, the Guy Mollet government drew up a specification for an aerially refuelable supersonic bomber capable of carrying a 3 metric ton, 5.2 meter long nuclear bomb 2,000 kilometers according to aviation authors Bill Dunstan and Peter Gilchrist. The specification's inclusion of supersonic speed was surprising to many at the time. The final specifications, jointly defined by government authorities and assault staff, were approved on March 20, 1957. Saud Aviation and Nord Aviation both submitted competing proposals, both based on existing aircraft. Saud Aviation proposed the Super Vortal a stretched Saud Aviation Vortal with 47 kN thrust ATAR engines and a combat radius of 2,700 km at Mach 0.9. Dassault's proposal for what became the Mirage IV was chosen on the basis of lower cost and anticipated simpler development, being based upon a proposed early 1956 twin-engined night fighter derived from the Dassault Mirage III fighter and the unbuilt Mirage II interceptor. In April 1957, Dassault were informed that they had won the design competition. Dassault's resulting prototype, dubbed Mirage 401, looked a lot like the Mirage IIIA, even though it had double the wing surface, two engines instead of one, and twice the unladen weight. The Mirage 4 also carried three times more internal fuel than the Mirage 3. The aircraft's aerodynamic features were very similar to the 3s but required an entirely new structure and layout. This prototype was 20 meters long, had 11 meters wingspan, 62 square meters of wing area, and weighed approximately 25,000 kilograms. It was considerably more advanced than the Mirage 3, incorporating new features such as machined and chem milled planks, tapered sheets, a small amount of titanium, and integral fuel tanks in many locations, including the leading portion of the tailpin. The O1 was an experimental prototype built to explore and solve the problem stemming from prolonged supersonic flight. The sizable technological and operational uncertainties were only one part of the problem. The weapon-related issues were the other. It took 18 months to build the O1 in Dassault Saint Cloud plant near Paris. In late 1958, the aircraft was transferred to the Melon Villaroque flight testing area for finishing touches and ground tests. On June 17, 1959, French General Roland Glavani, on a five-year leave from the French Air Force since 1954, took the O-1 into the air for its maiden flight. For its third flight, on June 20, 1959, the O-1 was authorized to fly over the Paris Air Show at Le Bourget Airport in front of France's President Charles de Gaulle. On September 19, 1960, Rena Copyright Beagand increased the world record for speed on a 1,000-kilometer closed circuit to 1,822 km per hour around Paris in the Melon Air Force Base. Flight 138, on September 23, corroborated the initial performance and pushed the record on a 500 km closed circuit to an average of 1,972 km per hour, flying between Mach 2.08 and Mach 2.14. 
The Mirage 401 prototype underwent minor modifications during testing in the autumn of 1959, most noticeably, the tail was enlarged. Equals production equals, in order to increase range, studies were made of a significantly larger Mirage IVB design, powered by two Snecma license-built Pratt and Whitney J75 engines and having a wing area of 120 miles squared compared to 70 miles squared of the prototype 4, as well as a speed of Mach 2.4 and a gross weight of 64,000 kilograms. The Mirage IVB proposal had been instigated as a response to interest by Charles de Gaulle in ensuring that two-way strike missions could be flown. However, Development of the aircraft was ultimately cancelled in July 1959 due to the greater cost involved, a decision having been taken to rely upon aerial refueling instead also being a factor. With the Mirage IVB considered to be too expensive, the medium-sized Mirage IVA, slightly larger than the first prototype, was chosen for three more prototypes to be produced. This aircraft had a wing area of 77.9 square meters and weighed about 32,000 kilograms on April 4, 1960. A formal order for 50 production Mirage IVA aircraft was issued. The three prototype aircraft were built between 1961 and 1963, with first flights on October 12, 1961, June 1, 1962, and January 23, 1963. By 1962, the second prototype had conducted simulated nuclear bombing runs in the trials range at Kulom Becher in southern Algeria. The third prototype was equipped with the navigation bombing systems and flight refueling probe. The fourth prototype Mirage IVA-04 was essentially representative of the production aircraft that would follow. For production, various portions of the aircraft were subcontracted to Sud Aviation and Braguet Aviation, Tailfin which was still a separate company from Dassault until 1967. Dassault manufactured the front fuselage and flight control system internally. Manufacture of both the prototypes and subsequent production aircraft was often hindered by an explicit requirement that there would be no reliance upon foreign suppliers to maintain France's nuclear capabilities. Due to this, the Mirage 4 initially lacked an inertial navigation system as French industry could not initially produce this device. On December 7, 1963, the first production Mirage IVA performed its maiden flight. A series of 62 aircraft were built, and they entered service between 1964 and 1968. Although Dassault had designed the Mirage 4 for the low-level flight roll right from the start, the final batch of 12 aircraft ordered in November 1964 differed from the earlier aircraft in several areas, including the flight controls avionics, and structural details, for the purpose of providing improved low-level performance. It had been planned for this batch to be powered by the newer Pratt & Whitney Snecma TF-106 turbofan engine. The improvements featured upon the last 12 Mirage IVs were later retroactively applied to the whole fleet. In December 1963 Dassault proposed a Mirage 4106 variant with two Snecma TF-106 engines, an enlarged 105,000 gross weight fuselage, terrain avoidance radar, and armed with a proposed French version of the American Douglas GAM-87 Skibolt air-launched ballistic missile. This version would have been very costly, and ultimately was not ordered. Equals proposed export variants equals, in 1963, the Australian government sought a replacement for the Royal Australian Air Force fleet of English electric Canberra bombers, largely in response to the Indonesian Air Force's purchase of missile-armed two Polar to 16 bombers. Dassault proposed a version of the Mirage IVA with Rolls-Royce Avon engines. Australian Air Marshal Frederick Shudger seriously considered purchase of the IVA in 1961 because it was considered to be proven hardware already in service, before settling on the General Dynamics F-111C. The IVA was one of five aircraft types that were shortlisted for the role, but the General Dynamics F-111C was eventually selected. In April 1965, the British government cancelled the BACTS-A2 reconnaissance strike aircraft. In response, Dassault and British Aircraft Corporation proposed a modified Mirage 4 variant as a replacement in July 1965. The aircraft, 
known as the Mirage 4 or Mirage IVS would be re-engined with more powerful Rolls-Royce Spey turbofan engines with a total of 185 kN, larger, had an approximately 0.61 m forward fuselage extension, and was to weigh 36,000 kg, and use avionics planned for the TSA-2, although BAC preferred the French Antelope radar. Although designed by Dassault, the production was to be carried out jointly between Dassault and its subcontractors and BAC. The final assembly location was not determined before this proposal was rejected. The Mirage 4 was to carry a bone lord of up to 9,100 kg. While the IV was claimed to meet most of the RAF's requirements, and to be a £1 million cheaper than the American-made F-111, the F-111K was preferred and the spay-engined Mirage abandoned. The Mirage 4 met nearly every RAF requirement except for field length, and some claim it exceeded the F-111 slightly in speed and had at least equal range. The estimated cost was £2.321 million per aircraft or £2.067 million, less than the price of the F-111K. British Aircraft Corporation claimed that the British government evaluation into the Mirage 4 was relatively superficial. However, some British government officials, including Parliament members Julian Risdale and Roy Jenkins, questioned the Mirage 4's capacity to operate from unprepared airstrips or to operate at low level, or claimed that the F-111 was a superior aircraft in a class of its own. However, Bill Gunston notes that low-level Mirage 4 missions had been planned since 1963 and Mirage IVs operated regularly at low level since 1965 and argues that the ability of a strategic bomber to operate from unprepared airstrips is historically unimportant. Royal Air Force pilots who test flew the Mirage 4 were favorably impressed with its low-level performance. BAC and Dassault had also hoped to sell the Mirage 4 to France and to export the Mirage 4 to various nations, such as India, possibly Israel, and others. The lack of a British sale put an end to such possibilities. Some aviation journalists claim that the rejection of the Mirage 4 may have dampened French interest in joint Anglo-French cooperation. Design The Mirage 4 shares design features and a visual resemblance to the Mirage 3 fighter, featuring a tailless delta wing and a single square-topped vertical fin. However, the wing is significantly thinner to allow better high-speed performance and has a thickness chord ratio of only 3.8% at the root and 3.2% at the tip. This wing was the thinnest built in Europe at the time and one of the thinnest in the world. While being significantly smaller than an expensive medium bomber proposal for the role, the Mirage 4 was roughly three times the weight of the preceding Mirage 3. The Mirage 4 is powered by two Snecma Attar turbojets, fed by two air intakes on either side of the fuselage that had intake half-cone shock diffusers, known as sauris, which were moved forward as speed increased to trim the inlet for the shock wave angle. It can reach high supersonic speeds, the aircraft is redlined at Mach 2.2 at altitude because of airframe temperature restrictions, although it is capable of higher speeds. While broadly similar to the model used on the Mirage 3, the Attar engine had a greater airflow and an elevated overspeed limit from 8,400 rpms to 8,700 rpms for greater thrust during high-altitude supersonic flight. While the first Mirage 4 prototype was fitted with double eyelid engine nozzles, production aircraft featured a complicated variable geometry nozzle that automatically varied in response to the descent rate and air speed. The aircraft has 14,000 litres of internal fuel, and its engines are quite thirsty, especially when the afterburner is active. Fuel was contained within integral tanks within the wings, as well as a double skin section of the fuselage between and outboard of the inlet ducts, underneath the ducts and engines, and forward of the main spar of the tail fin. This provided a total internal capacity of 6,400 kilograms. A refueling probe is built into the nose. Aerial refueling was often necessary in operations as the Mirage 4 only had the fuel capacity, even with external drop tanks, to reach the Soviet Union's borders, thus refueling was required to allow for a round trip. In the event of nuclear war between the major powers, it was thought that there would be little point in having the fuel to return as the host air bases would have been destroyed. Instead, 
surviving Mirage IVs would have diverted to land at bases in nearby neutral countries following the delivery of their ordnance. The two-man crew, pilot and navigator, were seated in tandem cockpits, each housed under separate clamshell canopies. A bombing navigation radar is housed within an oblique-facing radome underneath the fuselage between the intakes and aft of the cockpit. Much of the Mirage 4's onboard avionics systems, such as the radar communications, navigational instrumentation, and bombing equipment, were produced by Thompson CSF. Other avionics elements were provided by Dassault itself and SFENA. One of the only major subsystems not of French origin board was the Marconi built AD 2300 Doppler radar. Free falling munitions could also be aimed using a ventral blister mounted periscope from the navigator's position. The Mirage 4 has two pylons under each wing, with the inboard pylons being normally used for large drop tanks of 2,500 litre capacity. The outer pylons typically carried ECM and chaff flare dispenser pods to supplement the internal jamming and countermeasure systems. On later aircraft, this equipment typically included a barracks NG jammer pod under the port wing and a BOS expendables dispenser under the starboard wing. No cannon armament was ever fitted aboard the type. The early Mirage IVA had a fuselage recess under the engines which could hold a single AN-11 or AN-22 nuclear weapon of 60 carats yield. The Mirage 4 can carry 12 solid fuel rockets diagonally down below the wing flaps, for rocket-assisted takeoff. From 1972 onward, 12 aircraft were also equipped to carry the CT-52 reconnaissance pod in the bomb recess. These aircraft were designated Mirage IVR for reconnaissance. The CT-52 was available in either BA or HA versions with three or four long-range cameras. A third configuration used an infrared line scanner. The CT-52 had no digital systems, relying on older wet film cameras. During the 1980s, a total of 18 Mirage IVs were retrofitted with a centerline pylon and associated equipment to carry and launch the nuclear ASMP standoff missile. The Mirage IVA could theoretically carry up to six large conventional bombs at the cost of drop tanks and ECM pods, such armament was rarely fitted in practice. Operational history equals Introduction and early operations equals In February 1964 deliveries of the Mirage 4 to the French Air Force started, with the first French Mirage 4 strategic bombing squadron being declared operational on October 1 that year. The Mirage 4 Bomber 4 soon consisted of nine squadrons of four aircraft each. When fully built up, the force consisted of three wings. These wings were each divided into three bomber squadrons, each equipped with a total of four Mirage IVs, each deployed at a different base to minimize the potential for an enemy strike to knock out the entire bomber force. These squadrons were, 1-91 Gascon based at mont de 2-91 Breton based at Kazel, 3-91 Bivasis based at Crail, 1-93 Guyon based at Isters, 2-93 Kevins based at Orange, 3-93 Sambray based at Cambrai, 1-94 Bourbon Ace based at Avard, 2-94 Marne based at Street Desier, 3-94 Our Boys based at Luxhale. After establishment of its own deterrent force, the Force de Diswashen, more commonly known as the Force de Frappe, France withdrew from the military command structure of NATO in 1966. French President Charles de Gaulle viewed the operational establishment of the Mirage 4 fleet, a critical component of the independent Force de Frappe, as highly influential to his decision to withdraw France from NATO, and that an independent French nuclear deterrent was necessary to ensure independence as a nation. From 1964 to 1971, the Mirage 4 was France's sole means of delivering nuclear ordnance, at this point they were armed with a single 60 kiloton nuclear bomb each. Alert status consisted of an active inventory of 36 Mirage IVs, at any one time 12 aircraft would be in the air, a further 12 on the ground being kept at 4 minutes readiness, and the final 12 were at 45 minutes readiness, each equipped with an onboard functional nuclear weapon. These 35 active aircraft would be rotated with 26 reserve aircraft. These were kept in an airworthy condition or otherwise being subject to maintenance activities. 
within the first decade of the type entering service, in excess of 200,000 hours were flown and 40,000 aerial refueling operations were performed by the Mirage 4 fleet alone. At one point, Mirage 4 operations were consuming up to 44% of the French Air Force's total spare parts budget. The primary objectives of the Mirage IVA force were major Soviet cities and bases. With aerial refueling, the plane was able to attack Moscow, Murmansk or various Ukrainian cities when sortieing from French bases. A justification of the Mirage 4 given by armor copyright E de la Brigadier General Pierre-Marie Galois, an architect of the French nuclear deterrent, was that, France is not a prize worthy of ten Russian cities. In order to refuel the Mirage IVA fleet, France purchased 14 U.S. Boeing C-135F tankers. Mirage IVAs also often operated in pairs, with one aircraft carrying a weapon and the other carrying fuel tanks and a buddy refueling pack, allowing it to refuel its partner en route to the target. Even so, some sources state that some of the mission profiles envisioned were actually one way with the crew having no chance of returning after bombing a Soviet city. The issue of the inability for the Mirage for return after missions had been a point of controversy during the aircraft's early development. Both flight and grounds crews received training principally by Strategic Air Forces Command 328, stationed at Bordeaux. Several Nord Nord Atlas were specially modified, having received the Mirage 4's radar, control consoles, and additional electrical generators, for the purpose of training navigators. These were later replaced by a pair of customized Dassault Falcon 20 outfitted with much of the Mirage IVP's avionics. Equals transition and upgrades equals, initially, the basic attack flight profile was high 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 at a speed of Mach 1.85, engaging targets up to a maximum radius of 3,500 km. In the late 1960s, when the threat of surface-to-air missile defenses made high-altitude flight too hazardous, the Mirage IVA was modified for low-altitude penetration. Flying low, the maximum attack speed was reduced to 1,100 km per hour and the combat radius was also decreased. By 1963, the majority of missions involving the Mirage 4 were being planned as low-level flights. By 1964, Mirage IVAs were conducting training penetration runs at an altitude of 200 feet, without the assistance of terrain following radar, which subjected pilots to considerable workload and those on board to high levels of turbulence. To improve survivability, the French Air Force began dispersing Mirage IVs to pre prepared rough strips during the 1960s. While the use of hardened bunkers had been assessed, it was found to be financially impractical. By the 1970s, it had become clear that vulnerability of the Mirage 4 to air defenses, even while flying at low altitudes, had made the delivery of gravity bombs such as the AN-11 or AN-22 impractical. Thus, it was decided to pass a greater share of the deterrent role on to land-based IRBMs and submarine-based missiles alternatives. As a result, a single wing of Mirage IVs was stood down in 1976, partially due to fleet-wide attrition losses. In 1973, it was reported that a force of 40 Mirage IVs would continue to perform as a part of France's nuclear deterrent until the 1980s, and that steady improvements were to be undertaken. In 1975, all Mirage IVs were progressively painted in a new green-gray camouflage scheme. In 1979, in response to the decreasing effectiveness of free-fall bombs used by both its strategic and tactical nuclear forces, development of the ASMP standoff missile was initiated. The ASMP would possess a range of up to 400 km and was alternative armed with either a single 150 or 300 carats nuclear warhead. Various test launches of dummy and later live ASMPs were performed using the Mirage 4 as the launch platform between 1981 and 1983. In July 1984, a contract was formally issued for the upgrade of a total of 18 Mirage IVAs to carry the ASMP missile in the place of traditional bombs. These aircraft were redesignated Mirage IVP. The conversion of Mirage IVAs to IVPs involved a large number of modifications and reworkings of the aircraft. A deep centerline pylon was added, 
which could accommodate either a single ASMP missile or a CT-52 reconnaissance pod. The main radar and electronics suite were removed and replaced by newer counterparts. Other modified systems included the navigation system, flight control system, and various elements of the cockpit. On October 12, 1982, the first modernized Mirage IVP performed its first flight. It re-entered active service on May 1, 1986. In August 1985, a French proposal that would have seen Mirage IVPs stationed at air bases inside neighboring West German was made public. This deployment would have marked a significant philosophical departure from traditional French nuclear defense policy. Aviation authors Bill Dunstan and Peter Gilchrist alleged that French officials had historically discounted the option of recovering Mirage IVs at friendly territory as unduly optimistic, as those nations might become unfriendly or hostile in the aftermath of a French nuclear attack. Equals phase out equals. On July 31, 1996, the Mirage IVP was formally retired in its bomber capacity, the nuclear mission having been transferred from the Mirage 4 to the new IT Assault Mirage 2000 and EB2-91 was disbanded and EB1-91 was redesignated a Scadron de Reconnaissance Strata Copyright Geek, using five remaining Mirage IVPs based at mont de Marsan. The remaining aircraft were stored at Chateau Dun. In the reconnaissance role, the Mirage IVP has seen service over Bosnia, Iraq, Kosovo, and Afghanistan. ES-1-91 Gascon's surviving Mirage IVPs were retired in 2005 and are conserved and stored at the Centered Instruction Forces or Copyright Ryan Strata Copyright Geeks at Bordeaux Mar Copyright Rignoc. The retirement of all reconnaissance configured Mirage IVPs in 2005 meant that the Arma Copyright E de Lair's Mirage F 1CRs were for some time the only aircraft capable of carrying out aerial reconnaissance missions. The long term replacement for the Mirage IVP was Mirage 2000, an aircraft outfitted with a modern PRNG pod de reconnaissance Nouvelle Gare Copyright NAR Copyright Ration, equipped with digital camera equipment. The Mirage 4 had been popular with its crews who found it enjoyable to fly. In addition, it required surprisingly little maintenance considering its age and complexity. Royal Air Force pilots who flew the Mirage 4 at the Mont de Marsan Air Base during its evaluation for the proposed Mirage 4 variant were favorably impressed with its low-level performance. Operators, France, French Air Force. Aircraft on display, 16 is on display at St. Dizier Airfield. 43 is on display at Mont de Marsan Air Base. 62 is on display at the Musée Copyright E de l'Arrée de Space at Paris Le Budget. Specifications Data from PAR Copyright NAR Copyright Tration Augmentation, General Characteristics, Crew, 2 Pilot and Navigator Bombardier, Length, 23.49 meters, Wingspan, 11.85 m, Height, 5.40 m, Wing Area. 78.00 mass squared, empty weight, 14,500 kilograms, loaded weight, 31,600 kilograms, max takeoff weight, 33,475 kilograms, power plant, Tua, Snek Maatar 9K50 turbojets, dry thrust, 49.03 kilonewtons each, thrust with afterburner, 70.61 kilonewtons each. Performance Maximum speed, Mach 2.2 at 13,125 m, combat radius, 1,240 km, ferry range, 4,000 km, service ceiling, 20,000 m, climb to 11,000 m, 4 minutes 15 seconds, armament, bombs, 1A, AN-11 free fall nuclear bomb or, 1A, AN-22 free fall nuclear bomb or, 16A, 454 kg free fall conventional bombs. Avionics, Thompson CSF Navigation Radar, Doppler Navigation, CT-52 Sensor Pod for Strategic Reconnaissance. See also Related Development, Dassault Mirage 3, Aircraft of Comparable Role, Configuration and Era, Avro Vulcan, BACTSA 2, Convair B-58 Hustler, General Dynamics FB-111. North American A-5 Vigilante, 2 Polov to 22, related lists, list of bomber aircraft, 
List of military aircraft of France. References. Equals citations equals. Equals bibliography equals. External links. Mirage 4 information and photos by Yves Falconia. Mirage 4 data from former forces or copyright Ryan Strata Copyright Geeks website. Airforceworld.com Mirage 4 bomber page.